Hello, hi, and welcome to today's video um, where we're going to quickly talk about static versus temporary or temp variables um, in your program. I have prepared a little program, not big, I'm quickly going to explain it, but I've prepared a very, very easy, simple function block. Why it's a function block, I'll quickly explain later, um, but yeah. Uh, this function block is just called in here, right? So in the main function, I put my function block that has one input, which is a, an input, a, well, just a Boolean input, a button there. I've got it in my simulation. I can turn it on and off. That's what the function call does. And inside the function, this uh, input, right? This input uh, with an edge control, so, so, so with a positive edge detection, Whenever we activate the input, we, we receive the positive edge and we are adding one on top of the temporary variable that I've created and then we're pushing it to the temporary one, so do the same. So we're basically incre uh, incrementing this variable, adding one on top of itself. So if I press this button, it's right now zero. If I press the button, we will add one on top of zero. So we should have one. I'm doing this once on top here with a temporary variable, that's why I call the temp. And we are also doing it once with a static variable. That's why I've called the static. The rest is exactly the same, reacting to the same input. They're using different edge memories because they use diff they need different edge memories to work. But the rest is exactly the same. So twice the same functionality, once with a temporary, once with a static. The temporary and static variables you define in the... Um, what's it called actually on top there in English, on the Schnittstelle, <laughs> in the variable interface, interface of your function and function block. Um, the temporary one, you see in temporary, I have created count value temp, it's an integer, it's this one here, it's the temporary one, and I've got one count value static that I've used for the second network for the static one. So in theory, without knowing how static and temporary variables work, they both should work fine. If I press the input, if I activate the input, they should both go to a value that is one, right? Let's see, I've got my input here and you don't see it, but I press it off screen because, well, this just doesn't fit. Uh, well, it could fit if I do this and that. Now it fits, now you can see it. If I activate the input, right? I click the input, boop, you see, it turns green, it sent a positive edge. So this was activated. Now we, what we can see, the temporary value here is still zero. The static one is one. That's strange. Let's try it again. Let's do it again. The temporary one is zero. The static one is two. Let's do it again. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do it a couple of times. Huh. Very strange. Even though they are exactly the same function, the static one works. And the temporary one does not work. But why is that? Why is it? Because it's the same functionality. Why is that the case? Um, we cannot see it. We cannot see it. But for a very, very short amount of time, for one almost one program cycle, um, the temporary variable would actually be one. It would be one for one cycle. In the cycle, I add one on top of it. It would be one. But as soon as the cycle ends, it goes back to zero. This is the case because we're using temporary variables. A temporary variable only has a temporary amount of lifetime. As soon as this temporary amount of lifetime is over, it's gone. We don't have access to the value anymore. That's why it's temporary. We only have this temporary amount of lifetime. Now that temporary amount of lifetime, by the way, is as long as we are executing this function here. As soon as this function is over, as soon as we are hitting network three in this case, which is the last network in this function, the value is lost. We're going back into our main function. We're going back into the next PLC cycle. We're starting back on top. Value is lost, so we're starting back at, back at zero in this case. It could also be some random value we actually start with, but the value we had before is lost. Different for static ones. The static ones, they are permanently in the storage. As soon as you download your program, as soon as it sits in the PLC, this static variable sits in always in the same space in your memory so it doesn't get lost it's always in the same space it's reserved right that's the huge difference the static one has a reserved memory space the temporary one does not right that's that's the only difference that that is the difference how does that look like i have prepared a short short very short powerpoint for this wait wait well, wrong way around uh like this yes um very very short 
For the temporary, if we are using temporary variables, we are using something called the local data stack. Every function that we are calling, every OB, every FC, every FB has its own temporary data, right? Like OB1, the first thing that happens in your program is OB1 is called by your operating system. That means OB1, the temporary data of OB1 gets pushed into this local data stack and then it sits there. As long as OB1 has not completely finished, it sits there. Then inside of OB1, we could be calling a function or a function block, right? So we are calling a function. In this case, we're calling FC1. A function can have temporary data. So the function, it's for, ad for an addition or for whatever, um, takes its temp data, its temporary data, and puts it on top of this local data stack. It sees, oh, here there's some open space. I put my data on top of it. As soon as FC1 is done, completely done, right? Everything in FC1 is done. The operating system realizes, hey, FC1 is done. I do not need the temporary data anymore. So it releases this, the space in your memory, meaning the space, the, the memory area that FC1 used for its temporary data is free to use by anything else. So we are done with FC1. The memory area is free. Then we're going on with OB1. That hasn't finished yet. So the memory is still reserved. We're going into FC2, right? So in function two, we also have temporary memory. That might be a little bit more. So it just FC2 grabs a part of this local data stack and puts a data on top of it. And you see it grabs exactly the same part that FC1 used before. So the data that was there is gone. It's overwritten by FC2. That is how the local data stack works. We're, we're giving away, uh, we're taking storage uh, memory areas for a short amount of time as soon as we don't need it anymore as soon as the function is done memory area is released and the next function can take over right and so on as soon as fc2 is done it releases the memory area again and then we're well ob1 is done then we're restarting the plc cycle from the beginning then fc1 gets called again it grabs the next free local that uh, local data stack area releases it again and so on and so on this is very efficient if when it comes to um, memory usage because everything uses the exact same amount that it needs, right? And it gives it away. It, it frees the memory as soon as it's done. So it's the most efficient data usage, memory usage, because we're not blocking any memory. We just, we just need memory as soon as we need it. That's it, right? In contrast to uh, static variables, right? This is temporary. When we need memory areas, we take it. If we don't need it, we, it's released. That's why the counter always goes back to zero because it calculates, it is one when it calculates, but then it's done and the storage is released. Something else overrides it with a zero in this case, and then it's gone. Right? Different with the static one. If we go to the static, the static one is, um, as soon as you download your program to the PLC, the PLC and your program know how much memory this FC, uh, this FB, actually FCs do not have a static memory. That's that's wrong. I did, a, I, I did an oopsie. <laughs> FCs do not have a static memory. Let me just change that in the slide here for a second. Sorry, FCs. Functions do not have a static memory. Oh my goodness, I'm... Oh. Just give me, give me 12 seconds. Someone counting 12 seconds, uh, 11, 10, I'm done. See, not even 12 seconds. <clears throat> yeah. Um, exactly. For FBs, function blocks, FCs, they do not have static memory, but FCs have temporary. So F FBs can use the temporary storage, but they can also use the static one. For an FB, as soon as it's compiled and downloaded it blocks a memory area in your plc all right it blocks this static memory area because it needs it that's the difference between an fb and an fc the fb one has this fixed amount of memory area that is reserved from beginning on so this is called the data work memory as soon as you download it some memory area is reserved fixed 
it's never given free again. It's always there just for FB1 and FB2 in our case, and OB1 as well. Um, so the whole time we're executing our program here with the local data stack, it always changes, right? just the memory errors that are needed. For the data work memory, <laughs> here's the PLC cycle. There's the PLC cycle. It's always the same. The memory is our reserved, right? Uh, very inefficient, inefficient for some things. If you don't need the memory anymore for for in between calculations, for example, you could uh, you could give away that memory area again. You could free that memory area again. For uh, static variables, you're not doing that. Some of these memory areas might never be used, but you reserve them right? because you might need them. You don't want to lose the values, even if you're not losing them. That's the main difference, right? And if we look at both of them, um, we've got the temporary ones, which are only there when you're executing the function um, or function block. And we've got the static ones, which are always reserved. So you see these, of course, take a little bit more permanent data work memory, um, but you can save a value over more than one PLC cycle, basically forever. The local data stack, the temporary variables, they do not... Um, take that much storage, like permanent storage, as soon as they're done, they're done. Um, but you cannot have permanently stored variables in them. That is the difference between static and temporary variables. That is also why my temporary value up here, the temporary count value will never work like this. Uh, well, there's, the, there's some things that could make it run, but not in, in general, not gonna work. Um, the static one works because it's, it has this memory error permanently saved, right? permanently reserved. This one does not. So if I would like to fix this problem here, I could just take my uh, static variable here, uh, my temporary variable and just put in a static area. <laughs> right, and now I'm just gonna use this. Um, and that's gonna work now. Right. But we are now reserving more permanent storage in the data work memory for this function. That's how it is for this function block. Right. If I click this now, you see this counter also works now. Both work fine. Yeah. Um, this is also the difference between an FC and an FB. I've explained that in another video, but very quickly. An FB, a function block, you see it here up here. If an FB has the static variables, so it can have this reserved memory area. An FC, a function, this one here, if we look up here, it does not have the static area right? that's the difference between these two you see this one does have the static area this one does not have the static area it only has the temporary area that's the difference um yeah that's also why the fc does not need a data block and fb needs a data block because well, if you want to permanently store something in your storage, in your memory, you need to define where, and now this one here, this FB stores its data in DB1, at least this call. So not going into details with uh, FBs and FC calls and stuff like this. There's another video on this. This was just about static versus temporary variables. Um, yeah, uh, let's, let's look at this beautiful slideshow again as the uh, end of the video. Perfect. Look at this. Perfect. It took me five minutes to create it. I love it. Um, yeah, if this video was any helpful, leave a like, leave a comment, say hi in the comments. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to toss some coin my direction very quick. There's a link in the description. You can toss some coin my direction using the link. You can donate now. There we go. Just five seconds. Done. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching, um, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will definitely see you in the next video. If you want some content, just put them in the comments below. Um, I created this because there was this question came up a lot. What is temporary, what is static, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, there we go, just because of you, just for you. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>